We don't like calling it assisted dying because everyone should be assisted when they're dying. You know, my wife died a few years ago. Um, she had fantastic hospice care, was looked after. That's what everyone should have. Um, so yes, we want assistance in dying and the process of dying, but you know, it's a kind of euphemistic thing. It's, it actually is helping people commit suicide. That's actually what it is. So call it what it is and name it for what it is. We call it assisted suicide. And that's, that's the term that should be used for this. We're very concerned about uh, legalizing, helping people to end their lives. The experience of other countries, as shown in the various stats here, is that um, once you start legalizing assisted suicide, people feel a pressure to die. They're offering euthanasia to people who are disabled, who are yeah, requesting a ramp to get into their house or, or requesting finance for a proper housing. They get offered euthanasia um, because the attitude of society changes from life is sacred, life needs to be preserved, to saying, oh no, you know, some people, it's worth ending their lives. It's, some people have a duty to die. Some people are better off dead. Um, and so, you know, we want to protect lives. What we're saying is care, not killing. If somebody is still on a bridge wanting to commit suicide, you don't say, oh yeah, let me help you off the bridge. No, you say, you know, try and talk them out of it and say, no, please don't do it, you know, and care for them. And that's what you should do with anybody who wants suicide at any point in their lives. And, um, and you know, once they've done it, there's no way back. You know, you've got to help people and, and pain can be alleviated. And we're very keen to make sure this law doesn't pass here in the UK.